Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be testing out how long we could run this 5000 BTU air conditioner. Okay, so let me tell you what we have going on. What we have is a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter from Lee Sky, and we also have a 100 amp hour 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery from Power Urus. I'll have links to these in my description just in case you want to look into them further. And we also have this frigid air 5000 BTU window air conditioner. Uh, I got this on Amazon and I'm pretty sure it was probably the least expensive one I could find. It doesn't have any kind of digital or anything like that. It's just knobs. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to go ahead and set this to high cool and I'm going to set it to number five. And I'm hoping that gets me you know, to right around 75 degrees, something like that. I also have this clock over here and it shows that it is 83.3 degrees in this room. It also shows that it is 4.48 p.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this up by just plugging it in. Actually, I need to turn on the inverter first. All right, I'm gonna plug it in and we'll go ahead and start the test by switching it to high cool. All right, the test has started and we're gonna go ahead and come back in about two hours to find out what the temperature is in this room. And also, we're also gonna find out what the state of charge of the battery is. Uh, the reason I picked the Power US battery is because it does come with an app. So we'll be able to look at that app as we progress through this test. And also one more thing, I wanted to make sure you knew that it is 94 degrees outside and my watch says that it actually feels like 100. So it is very warm outside, so that probably will take into effect how cool this room can get. Another thing I want to tell you is that the room we're in is an 11 by 10 foot room. So it is 110 square feet and these 5000 BTU air conditioners are really made for rooms up to 150 square feet. So I believe this is the perfect size for this test. Also, you may be thinking, well, you're in your house. Isn't your house staying cool right now? It is, but I have completely sealed off this room. I put towels under the door and I shut off the vent in the basement and I'm covering it actually with the battery and a towel right now. So that's how I'm keeping this room kind of isolated from the rest of my house. So I'll be back in a couple hours and I will let you know what the room temperature is along with the state of charge of the battery. All right, well now it's 645. It's been roughly right around two hours since I started this test. And let me go ahead and put on the screen what the battery percentage is. As you can see, it is actually down to 20% state of charge. Uh, that really means that I'm only gonna get probably two and a half hours out of a 100 amp battery with this 5K BTU air conditioner. I'm really surprised by that because I did another video with an 8,000 BTU, uh, uh, like a portable air conditioner that I felt wasn't very efficient. And it got, I think over, like right around three hours so it just amazes me that even though an air conditioner probably uses more energy and it's probably not as efficient, it actually still lasted longer. And I do believe that is because even though it uses more energy, it's able to, um, it's able to cool the room faster. So as it cools the room faster, it gets down to temperature and it shuts off that condenser and it just blows the fan for like 10 minutes. So that way, it's not using so much energy. So, so far what I'm finding is if you think you're gonna get a smaller air conditioner and save energy because you, you're living off grid, you might wanna think again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back up in a half hour and see if it's still running. I really hope that I can get three hours out of this, but we'll see. All right, well, it is now 7.50. So this has been going on for a little over three hours now. And I've noticed that in the last hour, um, the air conditioner has been maintaining the temperature uh, a lot more than, uh, than it had in the first two hours. Um, 
because while it's while the condenser is running it runs at like 38 amps which is like 450 to 470 watts but right now you'll notice that it's only on the fan and it's running at like 6.6 .6 amps which is uh what 70 or 80 watts so it's a big difference and if it can maintain more by just running the fan it will be a lot more efficient um, as you can tell on the app our battery is down to 11.2 so I have a feeling once this thing kicks on again it'll probably cut off I've also noticed that our state of charge has said zero um, for the past 10 minutes so unfortunately that part of it was a little off but that's just a reference anyway it doesn't really matter and I also should say that with this little 5000 BTU air conditioner in a 110 square foot room um, on on high cool on setting five it did maintain the temperature in this room at between uh, 73 and a half and 74 degrees all right our condenser just kicked back on and the inverter just shut off and the battery just shut off everything is done so it, it made it three hours, basically three hours and 10 minutes. All right, just as a recap, if you have a 5,000 BTU air conditioner and you have it set to like 73, 74 degrees, um, you can expect it to run for uh, a little over three hours in a room that is roughly 100 to 110 square feet. This air conditioner in particular, while the condenser was running, it used about 38 amps at 12 volts. So you're looking at about 470 watts while the condenser is running. And it only used about 60 to 70 watts or about six and a half amps while uh, only the fan was running. So if you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to uh, all of this stuff in my description, just in case you want to look further into it. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.